Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Jennifer. How are you? Vanessa, how are you doing? I'm okay, teacher. Excellent. Welcome to the class. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to start sharing the screen. Okay, let's begin, my friends. Good evening, everyone. Today is August the 30th, and this is the pre-intermediate two. Okay, tonight we're going to study the simple past. In the agenda tonight, we have the simple past. What did you do last night? How was your vacation in the past of B? So let's begin from the beginning. <clears throat> okay. Objectives to discuss past events. Who remembers what we studied yesterday? Some volunteers? Alexander, do you remember what we studied on Friday? Uh, we were talking about games, video games. We talked, yes, we talked about video games. What else? Um, um, oh, sorry, I don't remember now. Don't remember now, okay. Yeah, sometimes it happens. Uh, sometimes it happens that we forget some things, okay. So we had some conversations, right? Some dialogues. And of course, we talked about uh, doing exercise, okay? Uh, someone says, I'm a fitness freak. Maybe you remember. Do you remember, Florence? Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm very well. And you? I'm excellent. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. That's also. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thanks. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, we, we studied those things on Friday. Tonight, we will continue. But to begin, we're going to be working and discussing on the weekend. Last weekend. Did you go out on the weekend? Florida? Yes. 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 I went to visit my family. Mm, okay. Did you go alone? No, I went with my husband. Okay, excellent. Did you have a good time? Yes, I did. It was great. Excellent. I'm happy to hear that. That's wonderful. Thank you for sharing, Florence. Thanks. Hey. Yes. Let's see. Uh, Alexander, 
Did you go out on the weekend? Yes, my friend, did you go out on the weekend? Uh, no, I stay at home with my family uh, because uh, um, how can I say? Uh, brother-in-law is cuñado. Uh, brother-in-law. Right? Brother-in-law. Uh -huh. Brother-in-law, because my brother-in-law came from the United States, so we have with him at home. Oh, okay, excellent. And uh, for how long did your brother-in-law come to stay? Uh, uh, about 15 days, 15. Because, the, because his father uh, died. Oh, his father died. Died. So it's not a social visit. It's not a social yeah. visit. It's, yeah, it's an emergency. Yeah. Uh, but we try to have um, a lot of relaxing day uh, on Sunday. Okay, excellent. Yes, that is something that you can do for him. Okay, very good. Thanks, my friend. Thank you for sharing. Okay. You're welcome. Yes, thanks. Let's see. Uh, Somebody else, uh, Andrea Sosa, good evening. Hello, teacher. You, did you go out on the weekend? Uh, I, I working. Uh, you had to work I, on the weekend. Uh, yes, yes. And and the sun and the Sunday and celebrate my birthday, celebrate my and birthday, birthday uh, with my brother. Oh, your birthday? No, uh, uh, his birthday. Uh, birthday. Your brother's birthday. Yes, <laughs> yes, my brother's birthday. Did you cut a cake? Yeah, yes, yes, okay. uh, uh, karaoke. <laughs> wow, karaoke. Okay, can you sing? Um, only that. Only that, okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, okay? That was very nice. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. How about Don Rafael Dabu? Did you go out on the weekend? Hello. Hello. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Where did you go? Uh, we went to the to the uh, cinema. Oh, to the cinema with who? With my son and and my daughter and my wife. Hey, that's nice. What movie did you see? I don't remember. <laughs> it was for kids. It was for kids. Yes. It animated? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Did you have a good time? Yes. We yes. had a good time. And then we had to have dinner. Okay. Excellent. So you went in the afternoon. Okay. Right. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you for sharing, Domerma. Thank you very much. Thank you. Don Rafael, I mean, I'm changing your name. Okay. Uh, Claudita, how about you? Did you go out on the weekend? Hi. Yes, I did. I went out to eat with my friends. Okay. Did you have a good time? Sorry? Did you have a good time? Yes, I have a good time. Okay. Uh, watch a movie and eat pizza. Okay, excellent. That's wonderful. Okay. I'm glad to hear it. That's nice. Okay, my dear Nitos, let's continue. Let's continue. Exercise one simple past. 
The simple past is used to talk about actions that are completed in the present. So they happened in the past. So when you see them from the present, they are behind, they are finished, okay? Let's see, some examples are, did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. Or, no, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. Or, no, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends, okay? Went, sang, stayed, studied, went, worked, are examples of past tense verbs. Okay, now how does this work? It's simple. We say like this. Uh, in English, English is not like Spanish in the sense that in Spanish, we don't say the subject and uh, we understand, right? We say, went to the movies and uh, we understand. But in English, no. In English, we always say, I went to the movies or he went to the movies or she went to the movies, right? We always say the subject. The subject is never optional, it's always obligatory. Teacher, if we have mentioned it before, even if we have mentioned it, mentioned it before, like you say, uh, first we went to the movies, then we had dinner. Even then you see that there is a sequence, but it's obligatory to use the subject. So we have, normally we have a subject, and then after the subject, we have a verb, right? This verb, sorry, verb, no, right, verb, no. Okay, this verb is the one that is in the past tense. And then we have a complement, okay? Something like this. So it's, it is something like, okay, we saw a movie. Okay, we saw a movie. You say, teacher, I don't, I cannot see in that color. Okay, maybe we can change it. Here, yes, right? You can see it better now. Okay. We saw a movie. This lady, you say she went shopping. She went shopping. So we can put it here for you to see it. Okay. What we normally do is we say, um, I go shopping, I went shopping. So what changes? Only the verb. You say, I study the lesson. I studied the lesson. She read, I mean, she reads books, right? She reads books every day. She read a book yesterday, okay? Something like that. So that would be an idea, okay. Let's see. Okay, Let, here we have some examples of past tense. We have work, worked, invite, invited, study, studied, stop, stopped, do, did, forget, forgot, have, had, go, went, sing, sang, spend, spent. Okay, uh, how do we use them? Okay, for example, 
if the verb is regular, we add ed to the verb to make it past tense, right? Ed, we say work, worked. Invite, invited. This one, because it finishes with an E, we only add a D. Then study, studied. Change the Y for an I and then add ED. Stop, you have consonant, vowel consonant, double, double the final consonant, stopped. Stop, stopped, right? Stop, stopped. Study, studied. Invite, invited. Work, worked. But what happens if the verbs? Okay, this is these are regular. They follow a rule. The rule is add ed to transform the verbs to the past tense. But if the verbs are irregular, means that they don't follow a rule. What happens if they don't follow a rule? We have to memorize them. Some people classify the verbs, okay? The ones that are similar, they have the similar past tense or so, they are classified. For example, do, did, forget, forgot, have, had, go, went, sing, sang, spend, spent, okay? So we're going to see some verbs, how they are, they are used. Let me see, I'm going to load, load another uh, file. Okay. Okay, here we go. Over here, we're going to have an idea. Okay. Can you see it? No. No. No, right. Let me share it with you. Because it's a different file. I have to share it in a different way. Okay. Now, yes, right? Now you can see it? Yes. Okay. The background or there is, there is a text? There is nothing here yet because we're going okay. to write it. Okay. For example, we have a regular verbs. So he has to say something. Uh, What's the characteristic? If the verbs finish in, um, well, we add ed, right? To all of the verbs. If they are regular, regular verbs, to make them past tense, we add ed, okay? And the pronunciation of them pretty much depends on this. The ed is pronounced t, sorry, pronounced T, uh, when we have, a, when the verb finishes in double S, SH, CH, X, K, or C, for example. Okay, so if they finish in, in those, pronunciation F. I say pronunciation because the spelling is different every time. So the pronunciation of F, K, and P, right? If the verbs finish in these letters, as an example, we can have a pass, you add ED and you pronounce it past, past. Right? And then kiss. ED kissed. Okay. He kissed his wife. He kissed 
his wife. I passed the level. I passed the level. So we have them like this. What happens if the verb finishes in SH, like fish? Fish takes ED, and you pronounce it fished, fished. I fished uh, a lot last weekend. What's the meaning of fish? Catch fish, catch fish, right? So I fished a lot last week. You don't say I fished fish because obviously the, ver the verb tells you, right? Okay, so it's not necessary. You say I fished a lot last Sunday. I fished a little last weekend. Okay, so fished, washed, okay, to say something washed, uh, crashed. You say, I washed my face this morning. I crashed my car last weekend. I crashed my car last weekend. I washed my face this morning. I fished a lot last weekend, okay? Go like this. What happens if the verb finishes in CH? Like scratch. You say scratch? Like this, right? Scratch. He scratched his nose. Scratch, okay? ED scratched. He scratched his nose several times. He scratched his nose several times. Okay, fix. Fixed, fixed. He fixed his car last month. He fixed his car last month. Okay, then produce. She produced several records. She produced several records. She produced, okay, the company produced a lot of, uh, what? A lot of uh, cans, produced a lot of cans. Okay, so we say produced, produced. Okay, introduced. I introduced my friend to you. I introduced my friend to you. Now, uh, photograph. Sorry, photograph. ED, photographed. Uh, I photographed the landscape. I photographed the landscape. Okay, maybe stuff. Teacher, what stuff? Rellenar, right? Stuff. I stuffed the sandwich. I stuffed the sandwich with um, tomato, lettuce, and with cheese, right? I stuffed the sandwich. Okay. Um, what about if it is like finishes in K? Cook. Cooked. She cooked dinner very early in the afternoon. She cooked dinner very early in the afternoon. Okay. Cooked. Now, what about book? Teacher, but book is not a verb. Yes, it's a verb. Like, for example, when you are going to stay in a hotel, what do you do? You book a room, right? What's, why do they call it book a room? Because you call and they write your name in a book. So you are making a reservation. You are booking a room. So booked. I booked a room at the Waldorf Astoria last week. Wow. The Waldorf Astoria. Forget it. It's very expensive. Okay, then 
stop. Stopped. She stopped studying, right? Dropped. She dropped her, uh, her pen. She dropped her pen, so I picked it up. She dropped her pen, so I picked it up. Drop, dropped. Passed, kissed, fished, washed, crashed, scratched, fixed, produced, introduced, photographed, stuffed, cooked, booked, stopped, and dropped. Okay, so these are, this is one sound. The other sound is ED is also pronounced D. Okay, Let's see. It's also pronounced D after what letters? B, G, L, M, N, O, R, sometimes S, that's why I can put it, but it's pronounced Z. Z. And sometimes, let's say, U, V, W, Y, and Z. After this, uh, you pronounce it. D. Examples. Grab. Grab. Teacher, what is grab? Grab. Catch. He grabbed my arm. Grabbed. Double B because consonant, vowel, consonant. Double the B. Grabbed. She grabbed my arm. Okay. G, hug, okay. She hugged me when she saw me. When she saw me, she hugged me. Double G, why? Consonant, vowel, consonant, double the consonant, hugged. She hugged me, right? Now, the other one, call. ED, called, called, she called me. No called, no hogged, no grabbed, no. Grabbed, hugged, called. Now, then roamed, okay? Let's say, let's use one that you will use later. Hum, hum. What is hum? When you are, you don't know the letters, or the lyrics of a song, and you don't sing it, right? You say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that is hum, humming, right? Some people use la 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 because consonant, vowel, consonant, hummed, okay, hummed, okay, you have hummed. Then, of course, cleaned, cleaned. Right? Cool. What is an onomatopoeic sound. It is like the, the sound of nature, and we imitate the sound of nature. A bird sings what? How does a bird sing? How does a bird sing? Coo, right? Coo, 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 coo. So we say coo. A stance, ED. Could the Let me see. Uh, I'm going to 
do this, sorry, okay. Yes, Okay. Okay. So the bird could all night. The verb, the bird could, okay, all night. The bird did cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. So the bird could all night. Okay, now let's say cleared. He cleared his throat. <clears throat> he cleared his throat, right? <clears throat> and continued talking. He cleared his throat and continued talking. Then, so cleared, cleared, okay. Um, advised. So we say, some people say advised. It's okay too. So you can say another one that is uh, with a Z, sound Z, uh, promise, promised, right? It's T because it's the other sound similar to this. But okay, let's use continue. Continue. Only add D. Continued. Continued. Okay. And then serve. Served. 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 Interviewed. So interviewed. 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 They interviewed me. Okay. Then a uh, play. She played with her friends. She played with her friends. Played. Okay. Then buzz. Buzz is a sound like zzz, right? Okay. Uh, the, fa the factory horn buzzed at 12 o'clock. ED buzzed, okay? And the last one of these ones is the pronunciation T, okay? ED sometimes is pronounced T. When is it pronounced T? Sorry. Sometimes it's pronounced ED, the new syllable, the complete syllable, okay? After what letters? After two letters, you guess after T and after D. Only after T and after D, you pronounce the complete syllable. Example, invited, invented, invented, invited prevented, insisted, corrected, corrected, right? Invited, invented, prevented, insisted, corrected, but intended, intended, needed, needed, uh, pretended, pretended, uh, let me see, what else? Another one similar to pretended, decided. Wanted. Oh yes, wanted would be for these ones here, right? Wanted, can you pronounce it? Wanted or wanted, wanted or wanted, so decided. Persuaded, persuaded, okay, persuaded. So this one's yes, invited, invented, prevented, insisted, corrected, wanted, intended, needed, pretended, decided, persuaded. These ones are pronounced T and D, but the others, no, the others, this E, D are pronounced T, passed, kissed, Fished, washed, crashed, 
scratched, fixed, produced, introduced, photographed, stuffed, cooked, booked, stopped, and dropped. ED, after these letters, grabbed, hugged, called, hummed, cleaned, cooled, cleared, continued, served, interviewed, played, and buzzed. This ED is pronounced D. And the full is after T or D. Invited, invented, prevented, insisted, corrected, wanted, intended, needed, pretended, decided, persuaded, okay? These are regular verbs. She insisted, she insisted on seeing the manager. She insisted on seeing the manager. He offered peaceful solution. He offered a peaceful solution. Sorry, here it has to be capital. Only that with one hand, sometimes it's a little more difficult, okay? He offered a peaceful solution. Okay. She demanded. Okay, you see, demanded to know the truth. She demanded to know the truth. Okay. She kissed her son. She kissed her son. Okay. They visited. Sorry. They visited the park. They visited the park, okay? And of course, they uh, washed their hands. They washed their hands. She kissed her son. They visited the park. They washed their hands. Washed, visited, kissed, demanded, offered, insisted. Okay, let's see. This is regular, but we have irregular verbs. Teacher, what happens with irregular verbs? The problem with irregular verbs is that we need to study them. Uh, they don't have, how can I say? They are different, right? So drink, past tense, drank. Eat, past tense, ate. Go, what's the past tense of go? Went. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Buy. What's the past tense of buy? Bought. 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 Uh, this one, the O is pronounced. The U, the G, and the DH are not pronounced. Only B O T. Bought. Bought. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bring. Past tense of. Bought. Brought. 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 Exactly. Fight. Past tense of fight. Fought. 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 So, brought, brought, fought. Past tense of think. 
Evet. Evet. Okay. Evet. Send. 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 Yes. Find. Found. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Lose. Lost. 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 Okay. Lose. Lost. Feel. Feel. Felt. 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 Fall. 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 Feel. Felt. Swim. 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 Okay. Let me see. Choose. Choose. Chose, right? Chose. Chose. Choose. Chose. Chose. Swim. Swim. Okay. Leave. Past sense of Left. 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 Leave. Left. Take. Took. 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 Take. Took. Take. Took. Who? Did. Did. Is. Give. Gave. Gave. Give. Gave. Give. Gave. Okay. Get. Got. Got. Get. Got. Run. 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 Okay. Let me see. Sell. Salt. Salt. Sell. Sold. Get. Forgot. 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 Yeah. Forgot. Forgot. Okay. Forget. Forgot. Okay. Let me see. About no past tense. New. New. Uh -huh. No new. Mm -hmm. No new. Uh, see me. Dream. Yes, ha, read to meet. Met. Met. Read. 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 Same spelling, different pronunciation. Read. 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 Write. Wrote. Write. Wrote. Wrote. Write. Wrote. Write. Wrote. Okay. So let's see. Let's pronounce these verbs that we have here. Drink, drank. Eat, ate. Go, went. Buy, bought. Bring, brought. Fight, fought. Think, thought. Send, sent. Find, found. Lose, lost. Feel, felt. Fall, fell. Swim, swam. Choose, chose. Leave, left. Take, took. Do, did. Give, gave. Get, got. Run, ran. Sell, sold. Forget, forgot. No, knew. Meet, met. Read, read, write, wrote. Okay, excellent. Now then, my dear ones, let's go back to the presentation. Okay. Let's see. Uh, no, but before, there is another thing that I wanted to tell you before this. Okay, to make negative sentences. What's the auxiliary that we use for the past tense? Did, right? It did not. Uh -huh, exactly. In the negative, we use 
did not. Contraction is? Didn't. 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 Contraction is didn't. didn't. Didn't, right? So let us see how we do it. We say, I'm going to use a regular verb. She watched TV last night. She watched TV last night. She watched TV last night. Negative. Okay, let's see. She didn't watch. Okay, let's watch. See. let's do all of the all of the for you to see how it goes. We say uh, does because it's third person, right? Let's leave it like that. Okay, and then you say not. And then you say, watch, watched, okay? And we say TV last night. You say, teacher, teacher, what is that? Okay. Um, well. Let me see, let's put it here. Let me see if I can do it. Um, maybe. TV last night. Okay. All right. Teacher, that is horrible. Yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, this what represents the past tense in the verb? Watched ED, right? ED yeah. represents the past tense. So bye bye ED from the verb. Okay. And we're going to give the past tense to the verb. What's the past tense of does? Did. 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 So we, we change from watch to the auxiliary to the past. She did not watch TV last night, right? She did not watch TV last did. night. Okay. Contracted to contract. She didn't, what? Not, she didn't watch TV last night. Eliminate the O. She didn't. Put it by an apostrophe, right? Yes. Put it together. She didn't watch TV. TV yes. Didn't, didn't is in the past tense, but watch is in the present, right? So mm -hmm. this part is in the present, and this part, sorry, the opposite. Well, no problem. I can I can move it here. Okay. This part is in the past. So what are we going to say? We're going to say like this. The auxiliary is responsible for the past tense, right? So didn't is in the past. Watch is in the present, okay? Didn't watch. Didn't watch. So you say she fought many times. Negative, she didn't fight. She didn't fight many times. She knew the answer. Negative, she didn't know the answer. He wrote a letter. Negative, he didn't write a letter, right? For the questions, it's the same. Let's imagine that we say, mm, okay, let's just to say something, say like this. Ta -da. He, let's use the same watch because it's common. He watched TV last night. Okay, how do we make it a question? Well, you say, teacher, I have, they told me that at the beginning you write do, And at the end, and because you say, and at the end, you have a question mark. You have a question mark at the end, but okay. Then what do we do like this? This ED moves to the auxiliary, right? 
so and then what's the past tense of did of do he did did, did he watch mm -hmm. exactly did he and we use watch in the present right because the past is already here so did he watch tv last night did he watch tv last night and the answers will always be with the same auxiliary that you make you say does she study yes she does did she study yes she did did he watch tv last night yes he did or no no oops sorry okay it's the problem of using only one hand <laughs> okay sorry in russian no okay no he oh i put capitals all of them are capitals no 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 okay no he did it okay so in negative you say she didn't watch tv so when do we use the past tense of the verb only in affirmative sentences in negatives we use present verb the verb is in the present and the auxiliary is in the past tense in the questions the auxiliary is in the past tense the verb is in the present so did he watch tv last night he didn't watch tv last night he didn't think he didn't think it was wrong did he think it was wrong no did you lose your money did you fall down did you swim in the lake did you choose a new tie did you write a book did you read the story did you meet new people did you forget the answer okay so that's the way they go okay now yes do you have any questions so far questions my dear niñitos no teacher no teacher no questions no teacher fantastic clear. as clear as horchata okay excellent as clear as horchata so let's continue now we have uh, the exercise the exercise says complete these conversations then practice with a partner okay a volunteer for number one someone was writing on my screen <laughs> did you stay home on saturday hey excellent of course you see i'm going to change color right need to change color ba, 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 ba. yeah there it goes what color do you prefer red Okay, let's use, aha, uh -huh. Elvis Abrego was writing on my screen, okay. <laughs> not teacher, not Elvis, okay. They say Malia, right, but no. Okay, so what's the question? Did? Did you stay home on Saturday? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go like this. Did you stay? Did you stay home on Saturday? And you say no. I called my friend. No, I didn't. Right? Uh, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. Do you say, did you call your friend on Saturday? No, I didn't. What? Call. I didn't call. The, the auxiliary is in the past, the verb is in the present. No, I didn't call. I didn't call my friend. Okay, then what do we say? We, we drove to a cafe for lunch. We drove to a cafe for lunch. Excellent, very good. Let's move it a little closer. Okay, 
There you go. Now, number two, say number two. How do, do we complete number two? How? How, how did, did you spend your last birthday? How did you spend your last birthday? How did you spend your last birthday? What's the past tense of have? I had. Had. I. I had a party. Everyone, what's the past tense of enjoy? Enjoyed. So I didn't put it here. I thought that I had put it. I knew that there was one missing. Okay, sorry. Enjoyed it. Okay. It's regular, anyhow. Enjoyed. Everyone enjoyed it. But the neighbors, what did they do? Sorry? Uh, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, didn't. Numero uno. Mm -hmm. Did you stay uh, uh, did you stay home on Saturday? Mm -hmm. Yes. And the answer would be no, I didn't. Nada más. Hasta ahí, respuesta corta. Luego, uh -huh. coma, explicación. I call my friends. We draw a coffee for lunch. Yes, that's true. That is true. O sea, aquí, o sea, ya, en, en el did y call, debería de ir una coma y un I de nuevo. Ajá, uh -huh, it's true. No, there is a period. There has to be a period. It's more. O sea, porque no me están preguntando si llamé a mis amigos. Están preguntando si me fui a que el sábado. Correct. Si me quedé el sábado. Yes, you're right. That is true. Okay, that's correct. Thank you. Yes, true. Let's put here. I called. No, I didn't. The thing is that there is a, there is a, there were two spaces supposedly, right? Uh huh. It's true. Is I, and then ed. Cold. Okay. Thank you. Who was speaking? Don Mauricio Morales. Yes, thank you. Oh. Yes, you're right. Okay. okay. Mr. Dagoberto. Mr. Dagoberto was speaking. Dagoberto Rodriguez. Yes, I did. I did. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, it's true. It's my mistake here in this one. Uh -huh. You are right. Thanks for helping me. Okay. What, what can I do without you? Okay. Thank you, my friend. So you say, did you stay home on Saturday? No, I didn't. I called my friend. We drove to a cafe for lunch. Mm -hmm. That's correct. There are two, there are two divisions. What about that's that's right. What about number three? So I apologize because yes, there was a mistake in typing here. And at the end, there was a mistake in the reference too. Okay, number three. How did you, can you do number three? What? Did you do last night? Excellent. What did you do? What did you do last night? Okay, perfect. What did you do last night? And you say, I, I went, went to the, the new Jim Carrey films. I went to the new Jim Carrey film. And then a comment, I, I loved, it. Loved, I loved, it. loved it. I loved it. And number four, what do you say in number four? Did you do anything special over the weekend? Excellent. Did you do? You say, teacher, why did and do? Ah, this is the verb. And this is the auxiliary, right? Did you do anything special over the weekend? Yes. This is yes, I did. supposed to be there. It's like this. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I, I, went, I went shopping. Unfortunately, I, I spent spent exactly. I spent all my money. All my money. Now I'm, I'm broke. broke. Now I'm broke. Okay, number five. I no question. 
Did you went out on Friday night? Did you go? Uh -huh. Did, Did you, you go? go? Did you go? Did you go on Friday night? Friday night? No. No, I didn't. Yeah. Here, yes. Uh, I invited friends over. Invited. I invited, I invited friends over. And what? And I cooked. I cooked. And I cooked. And I cooked dinner for them. For them. Okay. Excellent. Very good. So the verbs are work, worked, invite, invited, study, studied, stop. Stopped, do, did, forget, forgot, have, had, uh, go, went, go, went. Sang, sang, spend, spent. Excellent. Okay, now let's do the next exercise. Complete using the suggested verbs and the correct form. Okay, letter A. Did you go Did to you school go to yesterday? School yesterday? Mm -hmm. Did you go? Did you go to school yesterday? No. Yeah. No, I, I didn't. didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. No. I didn't. Where? Where did you go? Where did you go? Did Where did you go? Where did you go? I, I went. went. I went to the I went to the church. church. I went to church. It was, it was very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh -huh. Number two. Did your sister, your sister, go, sister go to work yesterday? Did your sister go to work yesterday? Go is very famous, right? Did your sister go to work yesterday? Yes. No. Do you say no? No, no she didn't. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Okay. Oh, where? Did, did she go? go? Did she go? Where did she go? And you say she? Went to the movie. Went to the movie. Went to the movie. She? She saw a love, a love, a love story. She saw a love story. Now number three. Did you clean the house yesterday? The house yesterday. Who clean up? Did you clean up the house yesterday? No. No, no I, didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. What did you do? What did you do? What, what did you do? What did you do? And you say I. I went, went, went shopping. shopping. I went shopping. I bought a box oh. of chocolates. Oh. Oh. Chocolate. Number four. Four. Your mom cooked cook in there last night? Yes. Did, did your mom cook? Cook. Did your mom cook dinner last night? No. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Oh, what did she do? What did she do? What did she do? She, she ordered pizza. She ordered, she ordered, ordered pizza. She ordered a pizza. Pizza. It was, what? It was very, very delicious. It was delicious. Okay. Very. Yeah. It was <laughs> all right. Now we need to continue moving. So, do you have any questions so far? No, teacher. No, no, teacher. No, no questions. Excellent. Very good. Now, let's do this conversation. Okay, I'm going to move this to that place. Let me see. Pick it up from here. Okay, yeah. Put it on the side. Okay. What did you do last night? It says, so what did you do last night, John? Um, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. 
They talked about football all night and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. So we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Mm, it sounds like you had a better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay. So, volunteers to read it. Okay, Doña Yolanda Cativo. You are Laura. I need a John. Let me see who is the John. I have Karina. Okay, Karina, you are John. John. Okay. okay. So, what did you do last night, John? Oh, I went to my boss' house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. So we have lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Oh, it sounds like you had a much better time then I did. Yeah, I guess you are right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Now two other volunteers. Me, chair. Yes, please. Go ahead. I have... Uh, Andrea. Mm -hmm. Andrea. Andrea and Don Cesar Oviedo. Okay, so... Andrea is Laura. Okay. Okay, let's read. So what did you do last night, John? Oh, I went to my boss' house for dinner. Really? Who was it? How? Oh, what? oh the really? food was... Mm -hmm. okay. okay. You may repeat. Really? You may repeat. How was it? 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 Oh, the food was okay, but the people were very interesting. They talked about football all night. I'm not hate football. They went worship some body sport videos. I didn't get come until offer night. Midnight, midnight. I. Uh -huh. After midnight. Okay. Well, well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and meet an old school friend of mine. Mm -hmm. So we, so we had a lot to talk about. To talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, we stay, stay, stay. Stayed, we stayed. I stayed, we stayed at the party all night. Mm, in some like you have a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you are right. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. So uh, let's finish with two more people and that's it. Two volunteers? Yes, teacher. Okay, please go ahead. Mario and uh, me. Okay, go ahead. Um, so what did you do last night, John? Oh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Uh, my food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. 
they talked about football all night and I hate football. Then we watched some boring sport videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and made an old school friend of mine. So we have lots to talk about. We stay at the party all night. Um, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Excellent, very good, wonderful, thank you very much. Now let's go over the answers. Let's see, who had a boring night? John. John, right? John had a boring um, night. Who had a good time? Laura. 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 Time. Who met an old friend? Laura. Laura. Laura did. Okay, who got home late? I think yes. not. Uh, yes. uh, Laura got home early, early the next day. Uh -huh. <laughs> I say, teacher, early the next day is late. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. right. It could be both. Okay. Yes. Let's say both. Let's let's say one because time and one because didn't have a good time. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Now tell me if it's true or not. Who was very good? True. Mm -hmm. True. It's true. Mm -hmm. The people were boring. True. 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 Yes, it's true. True. The party was boring. False. False. The party was great. That's why she stayed all night. She made a new friend. False. False. Mm -hmm met an old friend. She didn't make an, a new friend. She met an old one. Okay. So mm -hmm. John had a boring night. L uh, Laura had a good time. John, I mean, Laura made an old friend. Mm -hmm. John got home late. Well, Laura got home late too. Oh, okay. Excellent, very good. Mm -hmm. My dear ones, time is up. We're going to stop here. So thank you very much for joining me tonight. Thank you, teacher. God bless you thank all. You. Take care of yourselves. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.